pray krishna spiritual growth is defined not by the possessions we give up but by the conceptions we give up we all have a tendency to look at things externally and judge them accordingly so often spiritual growth also we may conceive of in terms of external renunciation if somebody has a lot of wealth and they give it up we may think that is what i need to do for growing spiritually and somebody has renounced a lot of wealth we may think that they are spiritually advanced somebody has a lot of wealth is living in luxury we may think that they are not spiritually advanced but no possessions are not the central markers of spiritual growth it is conceptions the conception that we are products of matter and that material objects are going to give us pleasure that is what is illusion and that is what traps us in illusion so if we even if we give up possessions but then we are still thinking that these possessions that i have given up now by that i have got some distinction in society i have got some position and reputation in society so to give up position to gain reputation or position is not renunciation and because we are still in material consciousness the essence or uh, essential purpose of renunciation is to understand and live the understanding that we are spiritual beings and our real life and real joy are in our connection with the supreme spiritual reality krishna so if we have given a lot of a lot of possessions but still we are delighting in our worldly position then that is uh, then we are not actually renounced and we are not growing spiritually so conversely if somebody may be having possessions but if they have given up the position uh, if they have given up conceptions of enjoyment if they have the conception of service then that is what will enable them to grow and that uh, giving up the conception of being an independent enjoyer of being a product of matter of being a per, of being a pursuer of material pleasure but instead turning towards krishna that is what will help us grow the bhagavad gita in 15.8 states how the conceptions are what we carry with us so the possessions anyway we will give up at the time of death but the possessions will go on with us so the conceptions will go on shariram yadavapnoti यच्चाप्योत्क्रामतीश्वर गृहीतवैतानि संयाति वायुर्गंधानि वाशयत सो सोल्स वी एंटर इनटू वन बॉडी स्टे इन दैट बॉडी फॉर वन बॉट टाइम सम टाइम एंड देन वी लीव द बॉडी टू गो टू अनदर बॉडी एंड व्हाट डू वी कैरी इट इज आवर कंसेप्शंस एज लॉन्ग एज आवर कंसेप्शंस आर मटेरियलिस्टिक वी कंटिन्यू ऑन साइकिल ऑफ बर्थ एंड डेथ बट व्हेन आवर कंसेप्शन बिकम्स स्पिरिचुअल वी बिकम एलिवेटेड एंड लिबरेटेड so positions anyway we will give up at death but that alone will not lead to our elevation but it is only this transformation of our conceptions to spirituality and that we can do in any position in any situation we are in life whether we have a lot of positions or whether we have little positions if we understand that the most valuable position is krishna and we seek to pursue a connection with krishna absorption in krishna then even if we have a lot or even if we have a little we will stay progressing on the spiritual track and we will enrich ourselves eventually with the supreme satisfaction of absorption in krishna thank you hare krishna